This demo will focus on using role-based access controls for PX Backup deployed for Red Hat OpenShift container platform. First, let's log in as the admin user to PX Backup. From here, the admin user can log in to the PX Backup security view and access the users and groups that are part of this PX Backup instance. The admin can manage role mappings for these users as well as view and add roles to PX Backup. PX Backup comes with a few defaults, but you may add more for your needs. In order to manage users or groups, the Keycloak administrative console must be used. You can log into the administration console of Keycloak using the PX Backup admin user credentials. From here, you will enter Keycloak and be able to manage users and groups manually. Note that Keycloak also has the integrations with user federation and can be configured with things like LDAP. Here is an LDAP configuration we use as an example, pointing at an open LDAP server. All users can be synchronized from this LDAP server and used for PX backup. If we head over to our open LDAP server, we can add a user in this case, Mary, to our LDAP server and synchronize the users back to PX Backup Keycloak, and that user is imported. If we head back over to PX Backup and look at our users, we can now see the user Mary, which gets a default role of PX Backup app user. You may change this role or keep the default. Note that the app user can backup and restore applications, but not create any administrative resources like schedule policies, rules, and backup locations within PX Backup. Now we're going to use a DBOps user for our demonstration. In our OpenShift cluster, we can log in with this specific user. Using the OC login command, we get access to only what we have access to in OpenShift. We can also log into the OpenShift console using the same user credentials and show what this user has access to. You can see here a Postgres and a Cassandra database deployed to the DBOps project. The DBOps user has access to only this project in terms of creation and deletion of resources. So here we can create persistent volumes or modify existing persistent volumes because we have those role-based access controls within OpenShift itself. If we head over to a different project, such as analytics, we can't actually modify anything because we don't have access to it in the OpenShift cluster. So it's important to note that users within OpenShift will have role-based access control roles and cluster roles that define their access. And in PX Backup, similar users will be able to log in. If using LDAP, it'll be the same credentials. But note the users don't have access to a cluster right away. This is because they may add a cluster based on their role-based access controls. So in PX Backup, this DBOps user is just a user, so it can only backup and restore their applications within the DBOps project. In order to do so, the DBOps user must create a cluster, give it a name, and capture the cube config from their OpenShift cluster. In the command line, you can paste the command used in PX Backup and paste that cube config, which maps the access controls from OpenShift into PX Backup. Now I can use this cluster to back up my DBOps project and only the DBOps project. Note that I can back up any resources within here because those are my cred uh, access credentials within OpenShift itself. To create a backup, click backup on some or all of the resources, such as the whole namespace like we're doing here. Give it a name, select the backup location provided by the admin, verify the right namespace and click create. Now the 
backup will start and volumes will be backed up to your backup location first. Then the resources will become backed up. You can see a timeline of all your backups for this particular user. In this case, this is our first backup because it is a newly added cluster and we have seven volumes, roughly a one and a half gigabytes of data and 30 Kubernetes resources in our DBOps namespace. We can show the details of this backup to see each individual PVC, their names, as well as the resource such as Cassandra Data Center, persistent volumes, persistent volume claims, and the particular names that it's backed up, as well as deployments such as Postgres. Everything within the DBOps project is backed up from a specific user with limited credentials and access to both PX Backup and OpenShift. Because it's limited, if this user tries to back up an analytics namespace, for instance, and use the same workflow of giving the backup a name and selecting the backup location and clicking create, the user won't be allowed to. This is because the user doesn't have the rights and access to the analytics namespace with an open shift. And so it shouldn't be able to create backups of it. Now, if we head over to our backup that we took earlier, we can see we have a Postgres deployment and a Postgres data volume. To simulate the need for a backup, we can log in as our DBOps user, see that our deployments and Postgres data volumes are here and delete them. So we're deleting the metadata objects, resources, as well as the persistent volume and the data within it. This could simulate an accidental deletion and we can see that the deployments are not reflected in our OpenShift console or persistent volume claims either. So to restore this Postgres deployment and PVC, we would click restore on our backup, give the restore a name, select the cluster that we want to restore to, and we're not gonna select replace existing resources because we want it to only replace what's missing. In this case, the deployment for Postgres and the volume for Postgres. Go ahead and click restore and the restore will kick off and we can monitor the OpenShift console for the volume to come back first. And now it gets mapped back to its original metadata. And so now it's presented as bound and the deployment can start. And here we can see the deployments also back and running. So now we've restored our Postgres database as well as our deployment and volume within it. You can get the details of what was in that restore. Note that it does say that it's a partial success and some resources were not replaced. This is expected. We only wanted to replace the Postgres volume and deployment. So hopefully this gives a good view of how role-based access control for users that can use PX Backup or OpenShift to backup and restore stateful or stateless applications in OpenShift can be integrated with organizations LDAP and access controls for OpenShift. Thanks for watching the demo and until next time, take care.